What is up everybody? So I was watching one of my regular motovloggers today, uh, Dan Dan Fireman, check him out. Uh, anyway, he was uh, asking his subscribers and anyone who's listening if they had heard of Scully Helmets and if they had, are they still at all interested in what they had to sell? So I'll, I'll make a long story short. Uh, they were a startup, a Kickstarter company, uh, had used Indiegogo to get get the get money for people to uh, like basically invest in their company to and then eventually to to get a Scully helmet now the Scully helmets were going to be equipped with technology to have like a heads-up display um, so you could see I'm um, guessing navigation it also had a camera situated in the back of the helmet so that they could so that you could see in your rear view without actually looking at your rear view mirrors. Basically so that you keep your eyes on the road. Uh, great idea, uh, but what happened, they, they blew all their money um, and not on using people's investments on what they were supposed to be doing. So uh, a couple of uh, brothers, Rafael Contreras and Ivan Contreras, um, just guessing that they're brothers, they're both last name is Contreras, but uh, could be wrong there. They bought Scully Inc. They're calling it Scully Technologies and they're going to try and start all over again. And what they're doing on their website, they're promising to make things right. And this article, if you look it up, and I'll put the, the article in the description it, at ngadget.com, basically says they're not sure how these brothers or this new company, Scully Technologies, is going to pay back the people who invested in their company. Now, they, they also say in this article that they've got the information of the people who did invest. So possibly maybe a discounted helmet or a, a free helmet, I'm guessing probably not an option, but people were investing like $2,500 to be one of the first ones to get one of these helmets. And it's kind of absurd how everything went, went down the drains. If you Google Scully helmets now, uh, what happens is, you either at the top of your page or at the bottom of your page, uh, you're likely to get an ad for Nuvi's heads-up display. Now, what this company is doing uh, for less than what you would have invested in the Scully helmets, they get $700. You can get a uh, device that will hook up to your existing helmet. Now, this the technology for this is really cool. It's a uh, device kind of like, and it says that it's, it's good for all conditions. So I'm guessing it's gonna have some protection against uh, cold and heat and wind and rain. This device looks like it goes all the way across the front and what it does is it projects uh, an image up on, on your, uh, your face shield with the same kind of information that would have, now I don't think that it's gonna have rear view, but it's gonna have navigation uh, to probably gonna give you your speed and all those other things. And it also comes with uh, a handlebar mount a handlebar mounted uh, control device so again you can control this with your hands and you're not putting your letting go of the controls you can um, use your hand to uh, control the device that's on that's projecting up on your face now this is a to me this is a great idea because for Scully to make their uh, helmets you would have to I mean if you didn't like the way that the Scully helmets looked you were kind of stuck plus you paid a pretty penny 2600 2500 bucks is what I was uh, reading about uh, and especially still left over on their their uh, defunct uh, Indiegogo page uh, so for 700 bucks you can get this uh, device that will go on your helmet existing helmet or again you could maybe you feel like hey I'm gonna pay spend 700 bucks on a device I'm gonna get a nicer helmet but you can pick the helmet and the look that you want but this would be great I mean the idea of having these things, so I know that you can buy mounts to put your phone up on your handlebars, so um, I've seen Blockhead do it, he, he does his auto-tuning there and you can see all that information there, but again, it's something that's taking your eyes off of the road. And this is a this is really is a great idea. Uh, I love how technology now is making it not only uh, safer for us, uh, but it's also giving us information, more information that we would want. I, I think it would be awesome to integrate information about where you are. Um, s certain things that you want to that are uh, interesting to around there places to eat gas stations I mean really it's that thing where your uh, cars display and your cars navigation can do so much for you I'm guessing that this thing will have the capability to do the same thing now what also what it's saying is that it's the dis uh, for the newbies 
will display what your uh, the the app on your your smartphone would display. So again, this is something that even though you're restricted to this device, you'll be able to upgrade the software using your your smartphone. So again. Um, always thinking ahead and with, with technology you've always got to be thinking ahead because things become obsolete so fast. So I'd like to uh, throw that out there. What do you, what do you guys think about this uh, new Viz or, or even the Scully helmets? So if you like the video, please hit the, the like button down below. And if you feel so inclined, please hit the subscribe uh, for more content, uh, motorcycles, and randomly other things too. You guys, if you're riding, stay safe. If you are not writing, be good. I'm out.